Welcome to a top four match for the Prototype Toronto League uh, here at 401 Games in the heart of Toronto with Christian J. Hey, I'm your co-host for tonight, Christian, known on the forums as Christian. <laughs> Secret identity, man. All right, we've got a cracker of a match for you tonight. We've got Evan Cameron versus Tim Ralphs moving on up from the top eight. And in this match, they've decided on a special format, which is an arcs only format. So what they've not done is brought any missiles, and what they've not done is brought any turrets. Uh, so this uh, has proved to be a popular format uh, in matchups for our league. Again, all that happened was they mutually agreed upon this format uh, and decided to fly it. Uh, so we have two exciting lists here. Uh, Christian, do you want to tell us about Evan's list? Sure, it looks like Evan's flying uh, a standard Imperial Ace list. He's got Backdraft in there, bumped up to Pilot Skill 9 with Veteran Instincts. Uh, fire Control System is usually pretty standard on the Special Forces ties. Advanced Optics, so we can Ooh. hold on to that Focus Token. That's a newer, interesting upgrade. Uh, lightweight Frame should help out uh, with some of those high dice shots coming at him from Tim. And the special ops training is the title, and that'll let him shoot out his rear and front arc if the opportunity presents itself. I love doing that with the SFs. It's the dream shot, Aaron. I love it. Uh, his next pilot's the Inquisitor. Uh, he's pilot skill eight, and he's got the standard 31 point Inquisitor build with push the limit, auto thrusters, and tie V1, letting him get an evade token when he acquires a target lock. It'll be interesting to see how the Inquisitor's going to dance here with Fen Rao on Tim's side, and Guri is a dangerous knife fighter as well. Mm -hmm. And the final ship in Evan's list is Old Countess Riyad with their infinite K turns, and she has Lone Wolf, Twin Ion Engine to give her some green bank maneuvers, and the TIE X7 title, letting her take an evade after any three speed maneuver or higher. Except now, uh, not when blocked. Or right, landing on an obstacle. Uh, over on Tim's side, we have the, fe the man himself, Fen Rao, with the Tawny Mind Link, Auto Thrusters, and the Concord Dawn Protector. Uh, we've got Inaldra Mind Link to him. So Inaldra's in a light sick with nothing other than Mind Link. So the plan there will probably be to keep Inaldra out of the fight and use her as a focus battery for Fen. Meanwhile, we've got the linebacker, Guri. Uh, with intensity, fire control system, both of the titles, and auto thrusters. Um, now, I believe Tim has given the initiative to Evan so that he was able to place his Guri after uh, Ryad, and Guri will also be moving after Ryad, so that's huge. Finally, in Tim's list, uh, we have the sick with the mostest, little old Sunny Bounder. He's got a heavy sick title and an ion cannon. Uh, so with any luck, Tim will be able to leverage that ion cannon to mess around with Evan's aces. I think that ion cannon's really going to come into play here, Aaron, because with Sunny Bounder shooting at pilot skill one, Evan has to be very careful that he doesn't use up all his tokens and maybe want to save one because that ion cannon can cause serious problems for him depending on how he's positioned. For sure. And it looks like Tim is going to looks like he's setting up mostly to the top end of the map and Fen Rao is in that threatening middle position to come up through the the, the close side of those rocks. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's got Analdra right behind him. Analdra's on a huge stack of pegs <laughs> um, and he'll, as I mentioned earlier, will probably want to keep Analdra out of the fight. Sunny must be down here at the bottom right and well we can see Guri there as well uh, in the red Star Viper. That's similar how he deployed against me when we played on the weekend. He had Fen and Guri in the middle, and it mm -hmm. made for some difficult choices, because whatever side I chose to go up, or if I wanted to take out the middle, I had both of those ships coming at me from different directions. And it gives right. them, they, they tend to cover each other pretty nicely, and you can't let Fen Rao get right up in your face, and he's going to take your ship right off the board. Absolutely not. And here, Fen Rao, for the first time in a long time, is the top ace. He will be moving last after everyone. 
Oh no, Backdraft is also a nine, but then uh, we'll still be moving last. Okay, we have Sunny Bounder sticking close to the board edge. And we've got an Aldra doing a two to probably follow along the long board edge at the top of the screen. And we have a Tawny Mind Link going off and giving focuses to an Aldra and Fen. And here comes Countess Riyadh ripping right up the bottom of the map there. Is he going for chase position on uh, the sick, do you think? I don't know. I think he might want to set up good fields of fire in the middle of that map because that really looks like where Guri and Fen are going to go. Um, I don't know that uh, Guri's going to rip really fast forward yeah, here. I would say Guri wants to leverage those friendly barrel rolls. <laughs> we uh, called them... Yeah. We call the barrel rolls of duckery on a, on a previous Duckery, card. duckery Duckery barrel rolls. <laughs> and that gives her really interesting options to, uh, to to really move her arc into a threatening position. And it's very hard to anticipate exactly who she's going after. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah. yeah. And then, so she's now in a very good position to, to watch Fenn's advance as he comes up last. Oh. And he's using intensity. The intensity is exhausted. KG start there from the Inquisitor. Yeah, you got to start KG with Inquisitor, though. With Fen and Guri up there, if you end up range one of those guys, you're dead. Yeah, that's my downfall when I fly the Inquisitor. I'm way too aggressive. <laughs> Me too. Why doesn't he fly like an interceptor? Being unable to clear stress with uh, the two turn and the two bank really, really bothers me. Yeah, it's tough. And if you get cornered, it's very difficult to get away. Mm -hmm. That might come into play with Guri because of the way she maneuvers. If she can catch the Inquisitor in a bad position, it could be really difficult for Evan to escape from that. Well, nobody is declining the center of the board, so they're all pointing that way. So, if you're Evan, who's your target of choice? Well, he's not flying any munitions with Backdraft, so it might not be a bad idea for Evan to actually K-turn Backdraft, or even maybe try to run between those rocks on the side. With uh, a sloop? With a sloop. You have to be careful. That Fenrau can move very quickly with a, with a, a four or five straight plus boost. He could be right on top of Backdraft there. But Backdraft really needs to utilize his ability um, to get the most out of, uh, out of his points, right? Um, he's got the advanced optics. Yeah. Right. So he could easily take uh, a target lock next turn if he wants to play cagier. But it seems like the fight is really going to happen in that bottom part of the map. The question for Tim is, where is he going to go with uh, in a, uh, Sunny Bounder? Is he going to turn in and bring that Ion Cannon into the fight? Because I, that extra gun could really tip the, the scale into Tim's favor. I think so. Plus, it, as you mentioned before, uh, should scare Evan into retaining some tokens with the ship that he thinks is going to be shot at. Uh, I think Sunny is a nice counter to Backdraft here. Uh, because an ionized backdraft is not going to be able to do as much as he would otherwise. He can easily be outmaneuvered. Right, and it could also be completely fatal to the Inquisitor if yeah. he chooses to use his reposition actions and then gets tagged with an ion, and then he'd be stressed and ioned, and that could get really ugly. I suspect uh, Evan will probably be very cautious with the Inquisitor. I think that's his late game ship uh, to a greater degree than backdraft is. Okay, Tim's not taking a direct turn. He's just banked. That bespeaks some long-range, uh, long-term thinking. I think he's expecting Evan to do a slow move here, to do slow moves in his ships. That wouldn't surprise me, Aaron. Yeah. But here's the big move from Countess Riyadh. Yeah. I think that was probably safer than a hard three turn in the same direction. That probably would have lined her up with that rock. And I mm -hmm. think she wants the uh, 
the option of, of taking advantage of those long 5k turns. Yeah. Part of one part of the way you can avoid Fen Rao is to get really close to him because he can't turn that tightly. If you can get behind him or on a 90 degree angle to him, uh, you still have to be extremely careful, but it's harder for him to get arc on you. And you are right, here he's playing a little more cagey, keeping Riyadh off to the bottom of the map there. Yeah, I think the ideal position for her is behind Guri and Fen. Absolutely. At some distance, just throwing dice. Plus, then her lone wolf is active if she's far away from her peeps. So Guri is approaching that rock. I think we can see a friendly barrel roll coming up here shortly. And here it is. <laughs> friendly barrel roll. They're really addictive. Oh, they are. I wish Lieutenant Lareer <laughs> had the ability to do that without a stress. Okay, so intensity. And we have a, yep, cautious moves from Evan. Do you think a boost would be warranted here from the Inquisitor just to get him a little bit different position? That way he could break off to either direction on the next turn. He knows he doesn't have to eat an ion cannon shot from this position. Well, there's a target lock check on Guri. It's out of range. Hmm. He's considering his options here. It might not surprise me if he chose to barrel roll towards the bottom of the map, closer to where Countess Riyadh is, and make, make Tim commit to him. Yeah. And then he still has the option to get away. Yep. Yeah. Not pushing the limit and opting just for the focus. And Backdraft is going one straight. Yep. And he can target log Guri now, which he does. Hmm. And Ven gives himself space for a nice fast move next turn. So he can rush one of those guys. Oh wow, he's doing a boost already. He's trying to get two guns. Well now Fen Rao is threatening all three of Evan's ships. Mm -hmm. And I, particularly uh, Backdraft doesn't have a whole lot of great options next turn. Nope. Um, it's difficult for him to turn in either direction since he's only got the white two turn. Yep. And I believe turning up would put him on that rock. Now, shouldn't Backdraft be shooting first because he's also a nine? Yeah, I believe they missed that one there. Okay. Yeah. All right, looks like range three to Guri would be obstructed and almost pointless. But at the same time, he doesn't want to spend that focus. He wants to retain it for defense, so... I don't know, shoot something. He's got a fire control system. He, if he shoots Ben Rao, at least he can switch the lock for free. Good point, good point. Yeah, that's the call, I think. Evan's thinking about it closely here. See, a boost from the Inquisitor would have actually given, well, you know, in that case, Ben Rao probably would have not chosen to boost forward. For sure. No, oh, he's shooting a Guri. I believe that shot was on Fen Rao because his target lock. Oh, you're on. right. You're right. Uh, doesn't look like there's any damage there, though. Nah. Uh, Inquisitor's out of range. So, Riad. Nothing. Doesn't looks like she has range. Very range three through a rock. There we go. And the rock doesn't actually help. Two hits and an eyeball. And that's what Evan had to fear there. Uh, Tim does not spend it because he would lose his exhausted. Yeah. And, oh. Can't tell what happened there. Backdraft had to spend his banked focus to not take damage there. And there's some sexy PTL target locks coming out <laughs> from Season 10, participation prize. Yeah. Stay on target. So these guys actually uh, matched up before in the regular part of the season. And... Uh, it was a victory for Tim, but he said one of his most undeserved victories ever. And uh, what happened was Evan brought some gunboats with missiles, and Tim had double ghosts. And one of the things that happened was, uh, on account of dice, uh, a gunboat actually missed 
a ghost with a harpoon missile. Wonderful. So, I mean, that, that's some pretty bad luck. I mean, yeah. No one can fly those ghosts like Tim, that's for sure. At least around these parts. True enough. All right. I still hate him a little bit for those ghosts. So now we got an interesting turn for Guri. Yeah, now she can really leverage that friendly barrel roll <laughs> to dodge that rock right in front of her. Star Vipers have a one straight green? I believe they, they do. do. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell from the angle on the stream, but I don't believe that one straight would put her on the rock. Thanks for joining us tonight, chat. Welcome to everybody from around the world who may be watching. I'm really worried about the Inquisitor. If I'm Tim, uh, I'm going to get that Inquisitor. It is the chief object of my intentions. I'm actually worried for the Inquisitor. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh. <laughs> hmm. He's got a tough choice here, Evan, about where he puts that Inquisitor. Turning in seems almost suicidal with Fen Rao right there, because he could, Tim could easily do a three straight, look where Inquisitor goes, and then eat him, depending on, you know, that boost will put him in lethal range. Indeed. Uh, and the other thing is, as mentioned before, we're going to have uh, Sunny Bounder back there with an ion cannon. So if the Inquisitor does some clever stuff where he boosts some barrel rolls after his maneuver to make it impossible for Fen to shoot him. Evan's really going to have to use Riyadh and Backdraft to protect the Inquisitor yeah. and, uh, and make it, you know, uh, make Tim pay for closing in on him quickly. Yeah. So I think Riyadh probably three banks. She could three turn, but I don't see a whole lot of... Great. I think that would move her arc just a little too much. Um, thanks for joining us from the UK. Hope you don't have to work tomorrow, because I would assume <laughs> it's pretty late over there. Or I hope your job is unimportant, and you can do it with no sleep. That's the kind of job I need, Aaron. Me too, man. Me too. Running a train or something, so I can take little naps. Um, hmm. So, this is going to be a long sunny bounder period. So much those up in the Sikhs, air here. Those Sikhs have the one banks, do they not? They do. They do. And that is actually would be a pretty dangerous move for Sunny Bounder because that would put Sunny's arc with that ion cannon right up the corridor between the rocks mm -hmm. and cover all of that position. Uh, her other option would be to turn hard on Riyadh. Mm hmm. Riyadh might be a difficult shot for the Ion Cannon unless he could get some other shots on her. Yeah. I think of all of Evan's ships, Riyadh is sort of in the safest position. Yeah, I mean, you leave her for last, for sure, if you're Tim. She's just too much of a tank. And does he need to bring in uh, an Aldra from the top corner? Or Hell no. just, just contribute as a focus battery and then that's the yeah. purpose she serves? Here comes what Sunny. A, what's he doing here? Oh, four straight from Sunny. Whoa. The purpose of that totally escapes me. Wow. That's it. Sunny gets no tokens having done that barrel roll. And an Aldra is turning in. Hmm. Does he. Hello, Scotland. How you doing? You called it. There comes the three bank from Riyadh. I, I didn't call it. I think anybody could see that that was the plan. So, uh, Tron 999 asks about the benefit of intensity. So, intensity here on, on Guri uh, allows her to get two, possibly three actions. Um, she can uh, use her action to do one of her barrel rolls of duckery or boost. Um, and use intensity to get an evade or focus. And then she can also uh, get a focus by putting herself at range one 
um, of somebody. At the start of the combat phase, Guri's pilot ability is that she gets a focus if there's an enemy at range one. Guri is one of those pilots that can really leverage intensity. Because she can get that free focus whenever there's an enemy ship at range one, she commonly has a token left over. Yeah, I'm not sure about that four straight, Hambone. But I, I guess he's thinking long term. He wants that ion cannon to be behind uh, behind Evan's list. Oh. But Evan hasn't gone fast. Evan committed with the Inquisitor. I think that was the right call. Plus, he knows where the ion cannon is. Oh, Ooh. but Tim gets a block with Gurry. That's huge. That was well played by Tim. Yeah. I mean, there were six ships potentially in that area. So, oh dear. This could, here comes the pain. So I think Evan des has decided just to tank this shot. That's the whole plan here, just to tank it. Ben's going to target lock Inquisitor here. Yep. Here it comes. Yeah. Is he range one? It looks close. I can never tell on, this, on the screen. It looks pretty close to me there, Aaron. Hmm. That was an odd move with Sonny Bounder because he could have probably eye on Backdraft since Backdraft did not have the token with that block. He spent his focus from Advanced Optics last turn. Yep. I uh, I think it was uh, not in the technical sense, no. but in the other sense, a missed opportunity. Have they forgotten to give Guri, forgotten to give Guri her focus token? I believe they have forgotten that. That, unfortunately, is another missed opportunity. She might eat a hit here from the imps. So no no shot from backdraft. Here comes the five dice pen row shot. And it looks like money. five natties. All money. And, and Inquisitor. For every roll for the Inquisitor. Spend it all. Take one shield. One shield. Wow. Evan has to be happy about that. Well, Fenrau does have infinite proton rockets. Oh, and, man, uh, he's still going to dodge Garisha, but she doesn't have the focus. Nope, she does not. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hambone says he loves the new announcer. He sounds like he should be doing wrestling. I guess that's you, Christian. Well, I appreciate all the compliments, guys. Thanks a lot. <laughs> all right, so Guri... I missed the shot. She spends an evade. She take nothing. Comes from Riyadh. I believe she took nothing there. That's good. That's good. And here comes Riyadh on Guri. Yep. Nice roll. Oh, that's money. Oh, oh, and he forgot his focus. Oh, oh that. Remember burns. your triggers, people. That Remember burns. your triggers. Moms of X-wing players. Teach that to their children. Oh, Guri took knee. two there. But Guri's going to light up the Inquisitor right here. Guri does not have a target lock on the Inquisitor. It's all about variance. Oh, just one, one crit. crit. Can't see that. Uh, doesn't. That's the other shield from the Inquisitor. So that pretty much came out even. <coughs> Weirdly enough. You know what, maybe that wasn't a terrible move for uh, Sonny Bounder to go four straight there. Because if you look at the position he's in now, a one hard turn covers a huge area where all of Evan's ships are concentrated. And whoever's going to be tokenless, they're the one that's going to get tagged with that ion, and that is really going to hurt. Except the problem with that is Riad does a five straight and punches Sonny in the mouth. Yeah, that's a real possibility. He does also have an Aldra there to put on some added pressure. Yeah, I don't think two puny dice from an Aldra is going to scare Ryad much. Hmm. The Inquisitor's got a tough position to think his way out of here. It would be nice to think he could just hard one either direction and get out. He's got to watch because that's an Atani Fenrau. Fenrau could just K-turn on him. Yep. And he's going to have that focus from an Aldra, and the Inquisitor could end up eating another nasty shot. Indeed. Uh, it might not be a bad move for the Inquisitor. I think he's got a lane to just four straight, just get out of there. Yep. He's, he's already lost both his shields on that exchange. I think he's lucky to come off that that well. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Um, I mean, it was a measured risk for Evan. I mean, he, he could have rolled 
a blank in that fistful. That would have been the average result. Um, and I guess he'd be one into Hull. But, yeah, for Evan here, it might not be a bad idea to try to turn onto those seeks. It's tempting because, at best, Fen Rao either hard turns and boosts or mm -hmm. K turns. And Evan's ship should be able to get far enough away from him. Uh, Backdraft could pull a turn here and leverage his rear arc if he has that kind of shot. And also, uh, you know, put some serious pain onto those Seeks if they end up in his front arc. Because I'd be so tempted to just one hard in Sunny Bounder here to uh -huh. unleash that ion cannon on these guys. But like you pointed out before, um, Evan could come right in and just eat them for lunch. Yeah, backdraft and Ryad on top of Sunny. And he's a, he's gunners. Yeah. Well, hold on, he's a heavy six, so he's actually got three hull in one shield. Well, yeah, but with all those ships shooting at him, I think he's going to show up in the obituaries tomorrow morning. <laughs> <clears throat> sure enough, there's that turn. See, that's hard to resist. It's just such a great arc position. I imagine that was the plan. Now, I mean, maybe he's willing to trade Sunny or most of Sunny's health to get an ion shot on backdraft here. Absolutely. If he can make it pay off. Well, there's the focus for Fen Rao. Mm -hmm. We're going to see Countess Riyad move next. And there's she, really no other move than a, than a yeah, straight. There it goes. <laughs> Woo! Dear me. I guess he can make the decision to whether he wants to K-turn based on the board state, right? He's not committed to no, K-turning yeah. at any time. I mean, had he turned around, there's a high probability he wouldn't get anybody in arc. Right. So, might as well go for the target you could see. All right, yeah, sure enough. It does look like Inquisitor's choosing to just get out of there. Yeah. I mean, where, where could he really have gone? One banks either direction? That Star Viper could still light him up. Yep. Um, I don't know why Guri didn't move. Did she bump? Maybe we missed that. I guess we did. Yeah, he might have self-stalled because Guri gets that free focus. I don't see how that helps him that much, but maybe he was anticipating the Inquisitor would try to pull something sneaky because he is slippery like that. Oh, there he goes. It's just going to be all three ships Let's on just... poor Sunny. Oh, yeah, Sonny's going to take it big time. And I don't think a Talon roll will put Fen at range one. So Backdraft is doing Ooh, the... Does he clear yep. that? Uh -huh. So got one bank from the Inquisitor. Well, I didn't expect all three ships to go jump on Sonny, but I think you're right. I think it's time to write that guy's obituary. I think it was the best play to make because he didn't really have good angles to turn back on Fen Rao or Guri. Um, Guri must have bumped. He's still got the target lock on Fen, so if Fen did do the Talon roll, he could very well eat a crit um, right here. Maybe Tim's willing to risk it? No, he just did the, no. uh, the hard one. I mean, he's at range two right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Fen's got to get out of range too, right? I mean, he doesn't want that special new crit going through. This might not be a bad time to double tap with uh, Backdraft or even ignore Sunny and try to put Guri out of her misery with, uh, what is that, three dice onto Guri? See, no I, really target like, lock, but I really like the free crit. On, on Fen. Absolutely. I think you're right. The double tap is the call. Oh no, he's only doing one way. Why? No, Evan. Let's see how many dice he rolls. No, no. He's going for two. All right. So All right. he doesn't care. He doesn't care about Sunny. Here comes the shot on Guri. Three plus a crit. He's got the target lock on Fen. This it's could really hurt. Two. Ooh, those look like eyeballs. Always oh, spending it and adding a crit. Ooh. Yeah, he's finishing Guri. You called it. Oh, 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 he let him get away with one there. Yeah. Sportsmanship. Folks, it's good for everybody. All right, Tim needs paint. paint he gets paint, it. Did paint. he just triple oh, bay? Triple natties. Oh, wow. That's so frustrating for Evan. 
Oh, he can put some of that range into uh, Sunny Bounder right here. Because now Backdraft has no ion, uh, has no tokens, and it's probably going to eat a ion cannon. Assuming Sunny Bounder is still alive to fire his ion cannon. Well, he's looking at six dice. Now, so Inquisitor's going to take a shot at and him. And he's here. got three greens with one token for both sets of three. And Inquisitor's just going to sp spend the lock, right? Why wouldn't he? And spends the focus. And what do we got here? Paint. And now, oh, does he spend the focus? He has to. Otherwise, he takes. I think one of those two. is a crit. No, because he uh, he changed them all with the focus token, so they they're all just natural hits. Really? I can't yeah. tell with those dice. I think he's got to spend it here because he's just got to rely on luck to survive. From uh, Countess Riyadh's going to unload on him at range one. Sunny Bounder's taking him three at a time. Oh, that's Ooh. painful. Here comes the target lock. Oh, so away just with one three. There. And Needs at least two evades to survive here. No. Oh, no, no, he might survive, actually, because he's I'm got three sure. hull. Just two, two damage. See he's how many cards he pulls out. One, two. Looks like Sunny Bounder survives on one hull. Right, and no one has any tokens? Well, the Inquisitor does, so... Oh, you take that shot at Backdraft. You do, for sure. Oh, yeah. Still, because it's not the, the worst ben, thing in the world. Ben can hard one, and he's going to eat a Backdraft shot, but hey... Yeah. Ben Rao has basically reinforced that range one. Tim's running ahead. He's forgotten that he's got a shot with an Aldra. Two. Don't think Backdraft's going to dodge that. One. So the Ion effect has gone into Backdraft. So, uh, did he miss an Aldra there? I, I think he forgot to shoot an Aldra. Oh, Tim. <laughs> um, okay, so that went not so great for Evan, despite the fact that the position looked good. It did. I guess it was it this did. trip natties on Guri that really saved her bacon. He's got a lot of damage spread out. Did Backdraft get Ion? Is that an Ion cannon in there? Yeah, he took the hit, so he got Ion. Oh, yeah. I think I see an Ion token poking out above his wing there. Yep. So that's going to be rude because Fenrao is doing a one hard boost one away from the rock, and I'll probably have him at range one with a target lock and focus. Maybe. It might be the backdraft can do the Ionized one forward and barrel roll. Guri, I think, has to sloop here or run. She's, um, not, she's got intensity, not a tawny, so she can go ahead and sloop. It's not going to hurt anybody. She just doesn't have too much hull, right? Can she really afford to uh, take a nasty shot? I don't think there's going to be too much shooting at her. Maybe backdraft, because we know where he's going. Mm -hmm. He might use Sunny here, because he knows backdraft has to go one straight with his ion token. Yep. So Sunny could park him in front of backdraft, cause backdraft to bump, deny backdraft an action, and also protect Sunny because backdraft won't be able to shoot at him either. Yeah. And I don't know that the Inquisitor has a great position to get any shots on Sunny if he's sort of right up in Inquisitor's face there. He might only have to eat a Riyadh shot. On the whole, I think that's a terrible position for the Inquisitor now. Yeah, he's really got to break out, break yeah. off, you know, rethink the board state. He doesn't have any good moves here. Uh, he can't really utilize those one hard greens uh, unless he turns away from the fight. And you got to be so careful around Guri because she's like a slippery little snake. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, she can which uh, is the hard one way. left. Yeah, it's the only way I can describe her without barrel. using profanity. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. She's a, she's a Mustang, right? I mean, she charges in there. And disrupts your opponent's plans. And tanks a lot of damage, which she has done here successfully. Well, those friendly barrel rolls that she has, it was such a huge improvement on that ship. It's such Indeed. an interesting, fun ship to fly now. The only it's almost impossible to predict where it's going to go, especially if you're getting out pilot skill. For sure. And even when you have a pilot skill advantage, she can end up in weird spots you never expect to see her. So sure enough, yeah. As here you comes called Sunny, it. getting the block on backdraft. Denying him actions. Riyadh, I'm almost positive, will pull a K turn here, but oh, yeah. you know, backdraft, those those special forces, I mean, when they don't have tokens, they take big damage. I mean, he can bring an Aldra in here and really put the hurt on uh, backdraft. 
Maybe not from that position. I think he was scared he might clip the rock with a bank there, would be he, my guess. I think he's setting up for a... Um, he could also cover Riyadh's if yep. she goes for a short K-turn. Yeah, he can block her next turn. Yeah, here she goes. Another 5K, five, five looks like. Yep. The barrel rolls are sheer duckery. Extreme. Okay. Oh, okay. This time... He did not bump with Gurry, so Gurry did a hard one. Yep. I wish I knew if his card was exhausted or not. It's by his hand there. I think it's exhausted. So uh, there was that turn where he forgot to use. Well, we're going to find out in a minute. He just did a boost. Yeah, I think the barrel roll of Duckery that would arc him forward would have been the better nope, choice. No, looks there. like he did not exhaust it. It is exhausted now. Okay. You can see in the bottom oh, right Oh, he corners. unexhausted it last turn. That's what happened. Because he, uh, remember, he rolled triple natty of aids. Yes, that that's one. correct. Here comes Inquisitor. He's just getting out. I don't think he had a better move than that. I mean, where's he going to go, right? Um, does clear your stress there, Evan. Yeah, he's going to use both I wonder actions. If he, I don't think he's too concerned about an Aldra shot. Um... He's got to get to a position where he can you, come back. Do you on have end. to push the limit here, or would this be not necessarily a bad turn to clear your stress and set yourself up to give you the option to K turn next turn? While that's right. tempting, I think he's got to get into a position where he can hunt Fen with his pilot ability, and he's the only one who can. Yeah. No, it looks like he's just choosing to tank up. Okay. Well, we all know who Fen's target is going to be here. Yeah, and there's the bomb. Oh, also, I think Inquisitor was out of Guri's arc, so he's not particularly worried. Right. Oh, boy. Here comes Fen Rao. Fen Rao is basically Sunterfell with infinite proton rockets and a free <laughs> reinforce at range one. In arc, yeah. And he's only a point more, so that's quite a bargain. It's funny. A couple of waves ago, he seemed like such a monster compared to everyone else. Now he just seems like a decent good ship. Yeah, I guess that's range one. It's tough to tell on the screen. Tell. Did he take the lock? Yes, he yeah. did. He did. He's going to try to end backdraft, and backdraft Ooh, has... Oh, that's close. Oh, oh I think that's called there. Oh, I hear the noise. There's it's screams out. of rage. Range two, baby. That sounded like it came from a large animal, so it's probably Tim. <laughs> so this is from backdraft. He's got two hits and a crit on Fenrao. Oh, it's not range my. one. It's not range one. So Fen... Oh, he's going to have to spend that focus. He does, and he's all right. Uh, did he take anything there? I don't, I think, don't think so. so. We would have heard more animal noises. All right, here we go. Two hits from Fen. Oh, one hit. Target lock, hit one hit, one crit. This yeah, could be bad. Whatever. Oh. Backdraft's fine. One uh, shield. Big one deal. Shield. That could have been so much worse. I'm not used to these TIE fighters with shields there, Aaron. <laughs> you should try them. They don't pop with one shot. They're a little too expensive. We want to have lots of lots of people on the table. All right, so here comes. You got to try the gunboats, man. I know. I should have bought more than one. I'll loan you mine. I just want to see what you do with them. Here comes. This must be Riyadh on Ugh. Sunny Bounder. Sunny Bounder laughs it off. Damn it, Evan just can't get good dice here. I think we've gotten an Alder shot, and that's it. No shot from Curry. Get out of here, Tim. And Aldra on the Inquisitor. Range two on the Inquisitor. Nah, he's got no other shot. Go, go, light sick. Oh. Ooh. One. And All the Inquisitor laughs it off as well. Well, that could have been so much worse for Evan. So now Backdraft's actually lucky to get away as he did. Um, I thought that could have been. I thought that was going to be the end of Backdraft right there. It was five dice, target lock, focus. He was lucky it just was outside of range one. But now Backdraft's not in such a terrible position because the hard two will move his arc uh, because Sunny and uh, Inaldra are going to be so gone. two left? Hard, yeah, hard two, two left. Yep. Fen can't really chase him there because the rock's in the way. <laughs> uh, yeah. Agreed. So uh, Hambone thinks you should be a full-time announcer. Enough playing. 
Well, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little salty to play anymore. I try to fly <laughs> my TIE Bombers, and I just get creamed by targeting simulator NIMS and people rocking, like, three sets of harpoon missiles blows my swarm right off the table. Anyway, I promised my fellow announcers I wouldn't get salty about it this week. Ah, I know, it's on pretty Tim. entertaining. Let's put him back on, Tim. All right. So, yeah, I agree with you. Backdraft too, rather does too, too hard. Left. Yeah, I think that's a I think that's a good move for him because he's protected from Fenrau. Guri mm-hmm. is sort of in the middle of nowhere. She can't even use her friendly barrel rolls to get a good shot on him. Um, so, and Aldra is going to block. Even I'm going straight with backdraft, I don't hate that move either. But yep, I was thinking four straight, barrel roll left. Where's the Inquisitor going to go, right? He's got to turn in somewhere, too. And Fen Rao is just going to hunt down. Uh, he's just going to, you know, take his standard move, standard bank in and just eat whoever uh, Evan gives him, right? He's got to be very careful there. Um, yeah, you know, and Sunny will probably two-turn to the left, ship left. We haven't seen Evan utilize the lone wolf on Riyadh at all. I mean, it might come into play later. I mean, even if you don't end up using it in the first half of the game, if Riyadh is your last ship and you have it, you become invincible at that point. Um, it's really hard to kill her. Right. And it protects you so magnificently up against TLTs. I mean, you, they, they just can't hit her. Absolutely. So where do you think the Inquisitor is going to go here? You think he's going to keep running, or maybe turn on? Turn, turning in is so risky. Yeah, I agree. I think he has to run again. I think he has to four straight, maybe three straight, boost and take a token behind uh, La Luna up there. The moon I, rock. I would expect the Countess, uh, not Countess. I would expect uh, Guri to hard one here. Yep. And depending on the board stage, she'll use her barrel roll. Um, I mean, she can get in. She can do a two and, and her, get right her, up in there. Yeah, her intensity is not exhausted, so uh, Tim can afford to be pretty aggressive with her. He knows he can get evade focus coming in if he ends up in range one of one of Evan's ships. I think actually, Tim might want to do a two turn with Guri, bank one with an Aldra. Uh, blocking up some of Rad's options. I was just looking at and that And pincer too. her for Fen to come and kill her. So here's Sunny Bounder. Well, hurt her bad. Okay, so, so now turn. Sunny Bounder's covering that bottom part of the map. So the Inquisitor, if he turns there, yeah, he's covering quite a bit of it. He's also covering uh, uh, a straight move from Riyadh. Yep. I would say anything more than a two straight is going to bump there. And I think an Alder's going to block the other spot. Ooh, that yeah, was a oh, bit further. Comes. Ooh, but if the Inquisitor won banks here. All right, here comes Riyadh. What did he do? Five? No. Oh, he did the three. Got the oh, he got again. blocked. Oh, this could be rude. I mean, if the Inquisitor gets out of there and... Uh, and a backdraft gets out of there as well. That's maybe not so bad if she's got her lone wolf active, but I don't think he will get backdraft farther enough out. Oh, yeah. Thanks for pointing that out, Brecken. There's only 36 minutes left in the game. It's a tall order for Evan. Oh. There comes that friendly barrel roll from Gurry. Duckery. Yep, and she's just fearless. She's just getting right up in there on two hull with her intensity. So she uses intensity to get the evade from the barrel roll. Here comes Inquisitor. Oh, he ran. That yeah, was really his to. only option. I mean, you're right. He could have turned turned away, but uh, it's not a great place to be anyway. You know, probably going to boost to get out of that, I would think. Yep. Boost and roll, perhaps. Boost and roll. He can expect nobody shooting at him. So long as you can get out of Sunny's arc, actually. Probably should have barrel rolled first. Sometimes it's hard to tell on the stream. Absolutely. Yeah, it's <laughs> a big party in the middle of the map. <laughs> it's a party in the middle of the map. I think that got him out of every arc. 
Let's hope so. All right, I so here's, what, here's what I've been waiting for. There. What's he doing? The too hard? Let's see it. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think is a good call. The three bank also would have cleared there and would also be a good call. So, I mean, he only needs to do one damage to Sonny, which is where's, number four. His target lock's on Fen Rao. Yeah. Ooh, Fen did the two bank. Okay. <clears throat> I don't believe he has room to boost in here. But he can barrel roll and get that range one shot oh, yes. on, on Guri. Uh, uh, you uh, not sorry, not Riyadh, right? right. Yep. Yeah, looks like that's what he's trying for. He can also move back to be sure he's out of backdraft's arc. Yeah, he wants to get out of that. The question is, will he fit? Yeah, looks it looks like, like he, does. he does. Yeah. Yep, that's, that's the move. Sweet. Well, Tim, ne uh, so Evan who do you, needs who some do you target here with backdraft if you're Evan? You gotta, you gotta go uh, for Guri even with the evade, because she's not gonna have a focus. Nah, right? you blow Sunny Bounder up. Yeah, take him out. He's right there. Get rid of him. He's pesky and annoying. You don't want that Ion Cannon coming back into the game. Yeah, he does have the range one. No, it looks like that's what he's doing. Two hits plus a crit. There we go. Uh, Sunny needs better More than, than that. More than they got. Yeah. So Sunny is history. Poof. That's 19 points in Evan's point column. If he, if he manages not to lose Riyad here. I, I, I think that's pretty unlikely. Riyad's full health. but And Fen has his target lock somewhere else, I believe. Oh, and Guri had no one at range one. Fen doesn't Whoa. have a target lock. Oh, but if you roll like that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't oh. matter. Oh. Well, did he get nothing? Oh, I think it's... Oh, oh no. Oh, ruthless. Five he hits. Oh, five. Oh. The last one's a crit. Two crits and three shields. That looks like a... Structural two crits, damaged engine, structural damage. I think. Oh. That was savage. <laughs> yeah, damaged engine is just nasty. Still, better on Riad than anybody else in the game. Well, Evan's taking damage on every. Well, let's see if 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 uh, she can live here. It's just one crit, so he just needs yeah. Evan just needs to roll one paint. Well, why wouldn't he? Because he's got us. That'll use up his intensity. Yeah, roll the dice, man. No, he does have to spend it. Oh, sorry, that was Riot on. Never mind. Never mind. I got confused. So now it's Guri on. On Riot. Yeah, this is definitely a really tough position for Evan now. Well, if he lives here, nah, Fen will still hunt Riot. I mean, Fen is now one shot from killing any of them. This is Ooh, nothing. Guri blanks. Still, that balances out. Come on, Tim, you rolled five pain on the Fen shot. Balances, Tim. All oh, right. Still a rough scene for Evan, but that actually, on the whole, at least got him some points on the table. So I don't know. Oh, he's thinking about what? What's happening? Oh, fire control. I don't think he's going to move that target lock from backdraft. I think I'd go for one of the others at this point. Because backdraft, I mean, I don't know how you fly them, but I tend to, you know, once I turn away from the fight, I one bank or one straight, try to keep using that rear arc and throw crits at people. Yep. Um, Evan has to just hope that he gets a block or something on Fen Rao so he can maybe get leverage backdraft's crit ability. Because as, it's, as it stands right now, he's got a deep hole to climb out of. But you never know. I mean, ships that have no shields, like Fen Rao, you take some bad crits, and the game can completely turn around. Remember, Guri's almost dead. Yep, two hull on her. Uh, two, two hull on Inquisitor, one hull on Riad, and backdraft, it's down two shields. The damaged engine on Riad is not the end of the world. 
but the, the structural damage is really bad. Yeah, that burns. He's I don't know if that. I would bother fixing that because you got an evade anyway. You're on one hull. Um, Does do you think Evan dares do a one bank ship right with Ryan? Does he dare to try to catch Fen Rao? to block Fen and Guri? Well, Fen could easily one hard towards. Yeah. I don't know, because I see Fen turning towards backdraft. Um, I he's think more predictable, right? I mean, you know basically where backdraft's gonna go. Uh, yeah. I, I, okay, we're we're having a little momentary pause, folks. One of the nice features of having league matches as opposed to tournament games is that we can pause the time. Looks like we can restart the time there as well. Okay, Tim's, Tim's back. back, checking his dials. And so we've got an Aldra turn to follow the Inquisitor, which is good. In a couple rounds, she may be able to jump in front of him and do a block. Yeah, it was that block that proved so fatal to Riyadh there. It was. I mean, she could have had focus evade, and she would have just lost her shields on that exchange. But instead, it was deep to the, take those crits right to the bone, right? What the heck's happening? Is that a block? No, no. Oh, Evan just made turn order mistake. Uh, no, he moves first. Evan has initiative. Riyadh and uh, Guri are the same pilot skill. Oh, they both bumped each other. Huh. Maybe the five straight didn't clear. I miss what he tried to do there. It's a four straight, but there was, like, no chance it would clear. He might have forgotten who moved first. All right, so let's see the Inquisitor. Yeah, one hard. Well, what else, where else is he going to go, right? I mean, he could have turned the other way, boosted. and Now, the then, thing is, does he bank in? I think he has to. No, force no Ben to commit because if he banks in and backdrafts, it's probably going one or two straight, right? So, you, you know, you have to make Ben choose. Do I go after the Inquisitor, right? Or do I continue to chase backdraft? He's got to leverage the guns he still has on the table. <coughs> yeah, here it comes. Here comes the boost. You called it. And then he's probably, he's got to take that target lock on Fen Rao. He does. And hope he rolls money with those green dice if Fen Rao gets into range one. Mm-hmm. But no, he's going for Guri. He's checking, oh, he's for checking Guri. the lock. He's out of range. There we so go. do Fen. So the moment of truth will be when we see if Fen did a three turn towards Inquisitor. Oh, that could get ugly. Even a one turn boost could put him real close. Nah, that won't give him range one. I don't think so. No. All right, here comes. There we go. See? One straight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, money. And if Fen did turn towards Inquisitor. Oh, there's a the rock there. So it's not that easy for Fen to chase him. He'd have to barrel roll. And then that would line him up to go after backdraft, I mean. And that would really line him up for the Inquisitor. Yeah, the Inquisitor would just smash him. Well, he'd hurt him. It wouldn't kill him. I really, really impressed that Evan called that straight to block uh, Guri with Riyadh. Yeah, if uh, it gives it gives Riyadh a reprieve, right? Because next turn, unless Fen turned into Riyadh, and if he did, I mean, that would be money. If he could block Riyadh here, I don't think that would happen. So here, Evan is thinking about barrel rolling to the left or to the right. If he barrel rolls left and Fen did that three turn. What, with backdraft? Is that what he's yeah. looking at? If no, he, stay right there. Because look at the way his arcs are, right? So if Fen did do the three turn and then boosts to get in on the Inquisitor, uh, then that's no arc. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. If I he, see that. If he barrel rolls right and Fen turned in to go after Ryad, uh, then at least he's got a range three shot. Right. With I can crit, see that. Or most likely does, I think, judging from the angles. Oh, he's so the rock might obstruct it. it. Always going the other way. He's going the other uh -oh. way. So he's, he's gambling it all on Fen went after uh, Riyad. We'll see. Did Tim switch up? He's famous for switching up. He oh. did. Oh. <laughs> oh. See, folks, it's never over till it's over. Very exciting. Yeah. Now Evan. Uh, and we, we Evans, were, what do we know? Evan's, yeah. four, Evan's four straight now looks genius. Look at that. Look at that. that that's brilliant. And he's got range two. Uh, Backdraft's going to have a range two on Fen, throwing crits, target locks. Uh, this could get ugly. Inquisitor's got a range three. Fen's got only the focus. Yep. 
and he's got two nasty, nasty shots coming in. So this should be a lesson to everyone. When you're down, when your ships are hurt, you just read your damn opponent's mind. That's right. That's how it's just done. Just straight up. Here we go. Okay, here comes the target lock. One hit so far. Uh, uh, blanks. Okay, so hit crit on Fen. Hit crit. And Fen and rolls. Fen oh. it off. And gets what he needed. Ruthless. So we've got the Inquisitor's long range shot. What's happening? Thinking about here. It's clearly an arc. Here comes. Oh, Inquisitor. One hit so uh, far. Evan's just not getting the dice. Oh, no, two hit crits and, two and a crits. hit. That's what he needed. All right, so let's see how Tim rolls here. He's still got to focus. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that was a chance. Saved that was by the chance. dice. Saved, Saved by, the, by dice. the dice. Well, Evan has come back positionally, that's for sure. And heck, he's still got 19 points on him. It's, that's right. Oh. Curry's going to have a shot at backdraft here. Hit crit. Target lock from the fire control system. Oh, man. He spent the focus. Oh, nope. Two, two evades, just one shield. Woo. So, in a round where the positioning was entirely on Evan's side, <laughs> the dice swung and gave Tim the shield. Uh, X-Wing, what a game. So that was uh, that was a pretty awesome move there by, uh, by Evan to turn a really bad situation. You know, I mean, he turn it around and, and, I mean... What can I say? There were like three or four discrete calls he had to make there, and he made the correct one in every case. And then, despite that, got nothing. <laughs> Dice don't cooperate. They don't cooperate. What can you do? Complain about it at yeah, great length. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now, does it make sense for the Inquisitor to bank in and keep the pressure on Fen Rao? Yes, because Fen is still going after Raya. Because, unfortunately, Backdraft, this is what it was a problem I get to run into Backdraft. He starts getting further and further away because you keep wanting to go one straight, utilizing that, that rear arc, yep. getting that free crit. And at some point, he has to sort of get back in the fight. I think he can afford to do another one straight, and, uh, and he'll still have a pretty good shot at either Guri or Fen. I think he should do the sloop now. Yeah, to just get back in the fight, eh? Get it over with so he can come back in. Why didn't Guri fire Because they're, they're, they're bumped. They're touching. They're overlapping, so she couldn't. It was against the rules. Uh, we were answering a question as to why Guri did not fire at the Countess. Now, an Alder is not in as useful a spot as she could have been. She can't get in front of the Inquisitor to mess with his action. No. Nope. And she needs that focus for Fen, so there's no K-turning. She basically has to bank around that rock. Bank three or something and yeah, focus. turn, turn, or bank around that rock and yeah. get another focus to Fen. Because it was that, that's, I mean, part of the problem with Atani and why people hated on it so much, right? Because that was the money block on Fen Rao, mm -hmm. right? If Fen Rao didn't have that focus, he would have been taking a hit and two crits. Yeah, very likely and could have been Rao, him dead. It, that, yeah, that could have been the end of Fen Rao. Another entry into the, the obits. Mm-hmm. Still, what a game we're having here. I mean, this, this is tense till the end. We've got 22 minutes on the clock. Um, maybe we should tell them they've got 22 minutes remaining. They may be unaware of the time. Uh, I guess I'll go do it. Can you hold down the fort here? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Oh, uh, 21 minutes remaining. Of the Devin has, Devin has the clock. Oh, okay. So Fen Rao, he's not in a great position to K-turn here either, right? I mean, he does have those Talon rolls. This might not be a, <coughs> a bad time to use them. He's got to stay on Riyadh. You know, Riyadh's going to K-turn. For sure she's going to do it. Now, I wonder if Riyadh 3K, and oh, Guri's going to move out of the way. I'm thinking that... Yeah, yeah. Guri moves second. Guri's going to move after. So he's not going to be able to leverage Guri to uh, block Fen's move. It's not going to be in the same spot. It's the 5K. What did uh, she do? I 5K? think it's the 5K. Ah, we'll see in a moment. I keep reading the dial in advance, and then half the time I'm wrong. It's a bad habit. Oh, no. It's a 2K. It's a 2K. 2K? Isn't this what you just yep. said? Oh, you said... I thought a 3K, but 2K is yeah, even better. Okay, but here's the problem. Guri is not going to be there. Oh, but Fen has to go fast, too, right? He's, he's uh, the, the sh What's the shortest he can go? 
straight I mean, is a two, right? Last no round, Evan succeeded with head fakes and blocks. Can he do it again? I mean, this is this is like. Where's th- Curry going? Oh, this Curry's is the going challenge the Inquisitor. in the uh, the the X wing skill first meta, right? You've got to call your opponent round after round after round. Absolutely. I'm worried that Fen's gonna do. Oh yeah, he saw that one bank in from the Inquisitor. And uh, yeah, he's he's going to shut that down right now. Yeah, there's really because that's that was obviously the Inquisitor's best move. I'd be very surprised if Evan did anything else. Yeah, that looks like a one day. Yeah, even with the with the Guri doing that, that's still the right move, right? Yeah. Get that stress off him. Take a pot shot at Fen. So that's going to be a bump, man. From the is it actually possible for Fen to get on Guri this turn? Not Guri, sorry, Riad. Keep saying that. I don't. I don't know. I mean, if he did something like a two straight, and he might have done that, and we're gonna find out in a minute. Backdraft's gonna move first. Here comes the one straight. Yep. Yeah. He's got the target lock from the fire control system on Fen Rao, but yeah, he's gonna barrel roll. He's got to try to get. You know, Guri's got no tokens. She is gonna have a focus from her ability, assuming Tim remembers her ability. <laughs> I don't know if that's obstructed or not. I always like taking um, trick shot on backdraft. Yeah. Because I always like using the. He's he's frequently hugging rocks and you know tight turning around and taking these these funky shots from weird ranges and angles. Yeah, but then he's only PS seven. That's true. But I mean, it didn't really help him that much here. It doesn't look like that gives him arc. I think he's got arc on Guri there. Oh well, now he so. does. That's it. <laughs> Shenanigans. All right, so we're down to 18 minutes and a half in the game. And what do we got here? I don't oh, know. we did it some kind of K turn or something that requires moving Guri. Oh, it's a three bank. Three bank. Oh, we got a bump. We got a bump. Not bad, not bad. The pot shot from Inquisitor might get through. Chances are it won't. We have no auto thrusters, but he does have a focus token. Again, some supreme anticipation and maneuvering from Evan, also from Tim this round, blocking the Inquisitor. Just high quality skill game, folks. Well, Riyadh's got a shot this time, and I think her lone wolf will trigger as well. Oh, I think you're right about backdraft being on, on Guri. Oh, two crits. Two, two crits, crits on Guri. Through a rock. Through a rock. Oh, Shh. he's got to spend that focus. Spends the focus. Why wouldn't he? Wow. I mean, Evan is just hanging on, his jaws tight here, every turn, trying to grind through Tim's bones and just not quite managing it. Sorry, that was way more grisly than I intended to oh, be. Oh, it doesn't look like Inquisitor oh. has range on Fenrau. That's frustrating. Oh. And we're back to reset. Good news for Evan. He's behind Tim. Uh, sorry, the Inquisitor's behind Fen. <laughs> Pardon me. Yeah, and, uh, and Inquisitor, because he used Guri to block Inquisitor, Guri doesn't have a whole lot of great options. She wants she to do not. the one banks, one hards, and use that friendly barrel roll to change her position. Um, this might be, but Backdraft is now drifting out of the fight, right? You can yeah. only go one straight so many turns in a row. I mean, he, he could two turn to his left, but there's no guarantee that's going to put anybody in his arc at this point. Well, he moved his target lock over to Curry, so maybe you're right. Maybe this is the turn, the turn to sloop, right, and hit her in the face with mm-hmm. that with that big three dice primary. I mean, the backdraft is the same at the front and at the back. In fact, it's better at the back because you get that's to a add point. a result, uh, even if you've got all tokens, and that's always better. Yeah, that's right. I guess you don't even want to use the front if you don't have to. But uh, I mean, he wants to be able to dogfight with her, and if he's just running, uh, then a lot of the pursuit is up to her. Because uh, this round, Riyadh doesn't really have to chase Fen Rao, like with another K turn. Yeah. She could go straight. Five and, straight. Yeah, she could go straight to either, you know, lay it into Guri or, or put some pressure on Anuldra. I mean, I bet Evan really wishes he took some shots at Anuldra because if she was off the board, I mean, those those hits he got in on Fen Rao, they'd be going straight to the bone. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, 
he, he did the best he could with that situation. I mean, Sonny is still the only ship that's dead. And that's doing pretty well at this point. I, mean, to, I think we might see a Talon roll or a K-turn from Fenrau here. I mean, he doesn't have much to lose by by doing it. Um, backdraft is really not going to get any shots on him this turn. I think the Talon roll is actually slightly dangerous for Fen. A lone wolf Ryad who does a, a 3K in front of him, and maybe the Inquisitor getting coming up behind him. I mean, his auto thrusters don't matter versus the Inquisitor. They don't work. And Lone Wolf Gurry throwing some dice. That could be bad. What did she pick? Another two straight? Uh, it's a five template. Oh, 5K. And we're right. She's going after Gurry. Is he going to fix his uh, limited I wouldn't, agility? I wouldn't bother. No, Honestly, he seems take not the to. evade, take the focus. Yeah. Well, he's mostly thinking about shooting with her here. See where Curry's going. Nah, he didn't dare sloop there. As tempting as it is, the possibility of backdraft being on him and Gurry down to two hull. That'd be a dangerous move. One bank left oh, uh, by backdraft would be good here, says Hambone. Oh, yeah. So, Guri's target lock is still on Backdraft. So this could just be a shootout here. If Backdraft did the two-turn, he might be able to barrel roll out of his arc, out of uh, Guri's arc. We'll find out here in a second. Yeah. Here comes Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Yeah, like this is what three straight and, and boost and, oh. Three hard. Uh-oh. Uh Whoa. That's uh, a little too clever by half, maybe. Yeah. But at least there's no threats on him this turn, unless Fen turned around. But even then, uh, I mean, if he needed a range two or three shot from Fen, if, if Fen K turned, there's no shot. If he taloned, oh, it is the two turn. Yeah, he did the two. So he still got. It looks like he still has Guri and Arc, but he's eating a uh, he's eating a few shots, staying in that position. He looks like he has his lock on her. So, barrel roll for position, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's the only action he's got on his bar he hasn't already done. <laughs> I kind of like that about the advanced optics on this, the SF, because now you can always barrel roll, use that reposition to get in, uh, you know, get out of arcs or get some better shots or leverage your, your sort of rear arc. Oh, Ben chose to just turn out. Yeah, I felt that was the most likely thing for him to do. Can't target lock nobody. He's just going to come around and Here plan comes. on a date with backdraft later on in which he chooses the terms. Okay, so we got... Gurry gets a free focus. We're going to have a few shots on Gurry here. Yep. Fen Rao is still out of range. This no is Evan's round, Rao. but... We've got two focus tokens Here on Guri. Comes backdraft on Guri. That looks like range two. It yep. is. If he gets a lucky roll he's here, he'll have three. We can't see that because it went off the table, and Evan's going to think about it. Oh, well. Reroll one of them, so there's one hit. Oh, he must have been rerolling an eyeball. So hit, crit. Ooh. Two hits and a crit. Oh, t oh two. Well, crit goes through. What is it? Structural damage? <laughs> They're going around, I guess. Now, the interesting thing is structural damage applies immediately. Oh, yes. So he's going to have to eat Riyadh shot with only two agility. Exactly. It's often one of the best crits you can get in this kind of situation. We have... Two hits from Riyadh. On or is that Fen? No, Fen's out of range. Okay. Oh, blank scurries down. Oh, no. Kablooey! Sorry, I had to do that once. <laughs> well, they think you're uh, uh, wrestling oh, I agree, me. because she can still shoot. Yeah. Target lock. Ooh. She gets three. Backdraft manages two, so he takes one He's hit to the hall. one. Ten minutes left, and it ain't over, folks. We've got a pretty big lead for Evan now. 
having See, killed now, over half of Tim's list. Evan really turned this back in his favor. He's got to do everything he can to take out an Aldra. One damage. Hey, this could this could hurt backdraft. Looks uh, like it. No, he went through. It's taking another damage. Whoa, one hull backdraft. Backdraft is down to one hull. Wow. So, what would you do with backdraft here? Ah, oh, man, I don't know. Um, like, running is sort of dangerous, right? Because if he guesses you with Fen Rao, you're eating... Fen will probably dice. do two straight because he needs to kill two guys. So he's got to he's got to be cautious enough to get backdraft here. Oh. What, if, what if backdraft turned away hard? Because you look where yep. Fen Rao is is positioned. Um, he can't go straight, right? Unless but he wants to go right through that rock. The only problem with the two hard is uh, Forkin and Aldra can kill him now. He's got one hull and he can't double token this round because he spent his focus. So. And Aldra can take Backdraft out. It's not guaranteed or anything, but if you put both guns on him, even if the Fen shot is from range three, all it needs to do is burn a token, and then an Aldra pops him. That's very true. I don't know if that's what the safest move is for him here, but, I mean, a two-hard away, if he two-hards towards the Hoth X-Wing symbol at the top left of the map, Yep. Fen... I don't think can get to range one with a boost. What could he do? A three bank down and a one bank up? That's close. He can't go straight from, or at least it looks that way from here. One straight hide behind the rock. That's maybe not a bad move. It might be the best move. But if, if Fen decides to go straight slowly, like a two bank to one side of the rock or the other, he's going to be able to barrel roll back behind that rock just to make sure that backdrafts, you know, shut out his lights, so to speak. Yeah, but he needs that range one. Otherwise, the action economy is just junk. Because uh, Fen Rao doesn't necessarily need a range one shot to kill Backdraft. Backdraft is... Uh, well, then it's even be, odds, right? You'd be lucky to survive a range three, I would think. Let's see if well, he gets a focus. focus token on each side? It's pretty close to even. Conjecture, conjecture. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens. Um, I think if I'm Tim, uh, I do a nice fast three bank with an Aldra. Just to keep her guns in the fight. Keep the pressure on. Yeah, maybe two bank and focus, just in case Backdraft does a two to his left, two turn to the left. What do you think Riyadh could do? Do you think a three hard would put her on that rock? Oh, we she's got the island engine. She could one hard, uh, one, sorry, one bank. Yeah. And see where, because you want to get rid of an Aldra, right? If you get rid of an Aldra, now you got super pressure on. Tim basically has to kill Riyadh and Backdraft in the next eight minutes. Mm -hmm. If an Aldra goes down, and let's face it, she's got light seek, right? Yeah. You could sneeze <laughs> on her, and uh, you know. I don't think I've ever failed to take one of those out with one shot from one ship. It's, it can happen. <laughs> you know, she's. Uh, I mean, it's like you, you blow off the shield, and then you've got what is it like thirty three percent chance to blow it up with a direct hit. And Aldra needs to put you know polysporin on everything, any little <laughs> cut or scrape, and that could be you know that's the end of the road. So, folks, if you're unfamiliar, what we're referring to is the light sick title, which came out with the Sea Rock. Uh, lets you get a sick at a uh, cheaper cost um, but the consequence is that uh, the first hit you, the, the hit you take to hull uh, all the cards you get they're all being dealt face up they are so many's the time that your sick will take two hits and the second one will oh, eliminate one hearted them. here okay that's interesting I think he's being cautious here I think know. he's trying to block Riot yeah. three bank and he maybe even will turn fit oh Wow, so he's leaving Fen to fend for his own token. Try saying that three times fast. Tim may be thinking of this as a repositioning round. No, it was a oh, did he clear? No, I think oh, it's a block. I think we're going to need a judge. Let's get Big Again, Devin in there. Again, such blocking this game. Like, really, so much of this game is hinged on outthinking and blocking. Is that move, clear? Your, move your digits, Tim. No, I think oh, that man. blocks. That blocks. Yep. Still, unless Fen can capitalize on that, that don't mean much. Just some advice for your our viewers watching out there. Please roll up your sleeves, guys, <laughs> when you're playing X-Wing. And pull up your pants. And Well, yeah. We can't see that on stream, but... No. All right, and we've got the yeah the, the hard one, target lock. That's what we saw coming. 
Target lock and boost? Nope. Not even. Just take take it all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Focus evade, target lock. Come on, Fen, come play my game. That's it. Now, he could even turn backdraft toward, because even if backdraft dies, he'll still get a parting shot at Fen Rao. I, he turned away. we got to remember that Fen has all four hull. Yes, that's very true. It's the two straight. What did he do here? Two straight? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. judge. Did. No, no, no. See that? Oh. Yeah, he was a little further off that rock than I anticipated. He could have went a lot faster than that. Okay, what does he do now? He barrel rolls away so the Inquisitor doesn't get that really nice shot at him. Well, I don't. it doesn't really matter where he goes with... Because he can't barrel roll. Can he barrel roll out of range of the Inquisitor? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. And out of backdraft as well. But it's a stalling but, uh, activity. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's going forward. That might still be in backdraft's arc. Did he get away from backdraft and Inquisitor? Yeah, I can hear them talking about it. Um, okay, range. I mean, shouldn't backdraft be shooting first? Backdraft has no arc, is that what you think? No, here, backdraft shooting. Yeah, uh, no, fine. yeah he laughs it off. All right. Well, Did he switch the target lock? No. Oh, yeah, there he goes. See, Evan remembers his trigger, so that's it. He's got one hit on on Backdraft. Backdraft's got four dice. Just three. Oh, three, right, the light frame. I mean, this is the thing about using lightweight frame. It's good. Is range three generally doesn't help you, just your enemies. What's that? Oh, that's an Alder shooting at the Inquisitor. Whoa. The Inquisitor must have been out of range. The Inquisitor don't care. All right. So, as a long-term strategy, that actually helped him pretty good. Now, the trouble is he's only got four minutes. Yeah, Backdraft really has nowhere to go here. Yep. But again, four minutes, and you think and it, Tim needs to kill more than just backdraft. He needs to kill two ships. Do you think a four K with backdraft makes sense here? You There's no four K on their dial. There's just the sloop, the three sloop. You sure? Yep. I do fly these overpriced ties, so I know, man. <laughs> they only have the sloop. I thought they had a K turn, but I might be mistaken. Trust me. Would, a K, would any sort of sloop fit there, maybe towards the top of the map? Yep, I think that's the call, even. Right, because I don't think Fen Rao, even a five straight boost, yep. gets him into range one, right? And then... And he's still got to worry about the Inquisitor. He's still... Yeah. I think maybe. Man, who's the most expensive ship that Evan has? It's, it's Riot. Riot, yeah. But, I mean, and Riot's doing a 3K here. He's, and he's in shooting. no position to hurt Riot. Yeah. Uh, Hambone... Agrees that the sloop three right from backdraft is the right call. I think so as well. What a game, though. What a this game. This has been really intense, back and forth. Yeah, I mean, Great game. there's not a round where we haven't seen some awesome flying from uh, one or both of these guys. I mean, the the, the way they're calling each other um, is just making this an excellent dogfight. Okay, we got a three bank from an Aldra. She's getting into a position to attempt to range one the Inquisitor if all else fails. Well, she's got to be careful, right? Because the Inquisitor could also one hard. He could also four straight and boost. Possibly, but he could one hard, barrel roll, and, uh, you know, we could have some serious shots on an Aldra as well, right? Yep. So Riyadh, well, yeah, yeah, takes the... Yeah, yeah. Takes, no, he's target locking. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, no, he's, oh, fixing, he's fixing, his fixing his thing? Busted oh. agility, and as per usual, oh. it doesn't work when you need it to. Yeah, here comes the one hard. Oh, he oh, went wait. the other way. He's running. Evan's just playing for that last two minutes. Yeah. And why not, folks? Why not? He's given Tim a, a good throw down here. There's no need for him to... No. I don't see how Tim is going to come back here. And there it is. Oh, no, it's just a two. Just a two. Well, like you said before, right? There's no point in turning around when your rear arc is... You might as well barrel roll uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the other there. way. That is within the range. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's okay. not bad because it looks like Fen banked. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not going to get into range no. one. Had he done the five straight... Sounds like Tim's grabbing a target lock. Yep. 
Is that a range? And backdraft and Fen at range three. Uh, backdraft uses target his target lock. lock no, he's got gets hit. hit, hit crit. He's trying to hold on to the points. Fen is Auto fine. Thrusters. Oh, it's range three. Yeah. Target lock. Focus. Four three. Spend your goods, and oh, he's good. Man. Wow, did that? Oh, oh great game. There's a handshake. There's what an amazing handshake. game tonight. 